Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta, Crown of the Magister, Palace of Ice. Things are getting political around here. We have seen the conspiracy against the murder of the leader of the clan here. And things are getting just deeper and deeper more involved with the Saw Atar, Saw Akath. I can't remember anyone's foreign names in this. But uh, things are problematic. And we were previously in a giant dungeon, and I would like to uh, see what treasures we missed out on in various places where we have been, because we saw loads of stuff dropped on the ground that might not be there anymore, but also a chest, and if I see a chest, I want to see what's in the chest. Also, while I remember, we should certainly check if the magnificent dagger we collected is a dagger of any particular importance or value where is it one of us picked up an incredibly good looking dagger didn't we there's so much stuff going on I could have sworn one of us picked up a magnificent dagger. Plus three dagger. There it is. Staring right at it. Sudden death. Well, that sounds far more interesting, doesn't it? Sudden death. Weapon legendary. Requires attunement short rest. Your intelligence score is 21 while you are wielding this weapon and are attuned to it. Your weapon attacks score a critical hit on 18, 19, or 20 while you are wielding this weapon and are attuned to it. Ah, oh, that would be so good for a rogue. I'm almost mad I don't have a rogue in the party just because we don't get to use this. The other thing is, though, we could hypothetically try and crit fish smites with this the problem is all the times that you're not going to crit you're going to do 1d4 plus 3 damage plus 3d4 acid damage when you could be doing 1d8 plus 3 plus 2d8 plus 3 mad, uh, bonus damage so really it doesn't make any sense to even though that's a really cool looking weapon i'm mad i don't have a rogue right can we see the place we had that fight. Was it? That's the bedroom. We went down the hall from the bedroom and went through this. So, all of the stuff from our battle is still here for the taking whole bunch of cash I'm wondering if I were to ritual cast detect magic would it identify magic things on the ground as we pass them by rather than having to look for them? a beautiful helm well it doesn't identify that Oh, it does. Okay, interesting. That's going to be a much more efficient way of us finding magic items on the ground. So much stuff. The generic armor, I'm happy to leave, especially when it tells me that it's not magical by having detect magic going at the time. So then, at the same time, we can ritual cast this and see what that magnificent helm was. Helm of Comprehend Languages. I'm sure it is what it sounds like. Helm of Comprehend Languages cast tongues at will. But it doesn't require attunement. Which is fun. So, now we can just do that. 
Grants knowledge of all languages for one hour. Perhaps la knowledge of languages is going to become more important as we progress then. But otherwise, nothing up top there that I want to grab. Great big old statue. This loathsome statue mocks the god Einar corrupted to portray the foul Dark Lord Sortar. Despite the rough-hewn nature, the stone oozes depravity and wanton malice, its feet coated in dried blood. And I need to get rid of some of this stuff I'm hauling around. Clearly. I'm dragging around way too much stuff. There's the chest I really wanted to investigate. Of course, I'll take the other ingredients and bits and pieces we find along the way. I spotted a trap of sorts. Yeah, our perception must be a little bit off the charts these days, given our stats and whatnot. Would you please... Disarm that. Good. What do we find? Nothing really special, unfortunately. But any other chests or containers? A corpse. Interesting. A little bit different. Oh, why? Stop being cautious when you're not looking for traps. Okay. Bark, herbalism kits, silver combs, arrows. Sure. Right, so there is a way out through there, but I don't feel compelled to go investigating that right now. Provided we can teleport back the way we came, we will now get back on towards our main quest line. Good stuff. So, round the corner. And chat to matey. Good morning, my friends. Hello, hello. Good morning, Vigdis. How are you feeling? How are Snow you? dwarfs don't get hangovers, if that's what you mean. The headache is the trial. It's going to be this afternoon. At least the case is solved. Yes, but we still don't know why the Sorax are working with demons, or even how. It will be our next goal to discover it. And about that... Do you know anything about the safe box for the Claw Amulet? It is clearly a Manicalan item, not Dwarven. I noticed. Moreover, it bears a sigil I've seen before. It's related to a wizard. I think her name was Exonica. A Manicalan wizard in the middle of a pact made with dragon claws, with Snow Alliance dwarves. Don't forget the demons. We're way over our heads. We just came here to chase Sorax. We need a knowledge that is beyond our reach. I took the liberty to contact someone who knows a lot about the history of the Manicalan Empire. I could have sent you to Gorm the Wise, but. Violet is a friend. Violet? The one who can hold her drink? That's just gossip, really. She's a very smart woman. So this Violet is in the city? I'll have to tell you a secret. Can you keep it? Can't promise anything for these guys, but I can. Good enough for me. We have a major gate in the keep. By the gods. Violet has one too. Here are the passwords for both. May Einar guide you. We'll see each other again, Lady Vigdis, I'm sure. Stay in the light. Stay in the light, my lady. Okay, well, that's what was behind that door. Do I worry about going off and selling and trading stuff in the meanwhile? Now nah, we got loads of encumbrance room on these two. Is there anything else that we should have detected with Detect Magic by now? Because I didn't really check through the whole of the inventories. Arcana, 
Devo Oculus. Anything new or unusual? This drum is just a regular drum. We know about horns of blasting. So many specialized arrows. Chain, the sash, the sigil ring of abjuration. More precious gem stones than you can shake a stick at. We should consider attuning to this if we're not attuned to a third thing. In fact, if we just check for any other magic items, at least ones we don't know about. So these are just regular instruments, nothing special about them. Wand of Magic Missiles, Wand of the War Mage. Okay. Let's take a short rest real fast. And by real fast, I mean one hour like they always take. We should definitely attune to that. And then I'm assuming... Oh, does it not go here? Is it an... Act oh, it's a staff. So it's a simple weapon. I mean, we use the crossbow a lot less th these days. Cure wounds, lesser restoration, mass cure wounds. All right, we'll keep it in our back pocket, I guess. All right, yeah, we don't need to uh, go off on a big selling spree right now. We could get some more potions, but I think we'll be all right. Violet's house. Anyone home? I'm over here. That must be her. It's far, far too trusting. More spiders, really? Don't mind me poking around your home. Clear skies, my lady. You must be Victus's new friends. Indeed. I'm Violet Goodshear. Nice to meet you. Well, it's Master Goodshear of the Circle of Danantar, but I'll spare you the formalities. Thanks for that. I hope we're not bothering you. Oh, no, especially if you're here to talk about Manakel and wizards. Oh, they're dragons, right? You're the ones who found out and explained so many things. Indeed. Dear Mariki, to think that you've met with some of them. The Magister. Amazing. Well, we're here about this Sigil. Of course. That's Exonite the Traveler, Telema's lead teacher. Gods, she was a dragon too. That's insane. Who was Exonica? So, Exonica was a Manicalon wizard. Yes, I must admit, one of my favorites. I read a lot of her writings. And how do you know Vigdis? How did you get to know Vigdis? We teamed up a while ago, along with two friends, Ruad and Garrod. A scavenger had returned from the Badlands, almost dead. So we came to the rescue. Mm, didn't work out so well. You said something about Telema. It was a school of magic in the Manakalan Empire. Almost a whole town of wizards and students. I went there once, explored the ruins, and, well, I broke them. A little. How so? Something called Fireball? Yeah, that's on me. Do you think that Exonica had anything to do with creatures called demons? I came across that word in her writings. Some kind of monsters? She went to so many places. You know what? I think she's the one who created the major gates. Incredible. It is, right? So maybe she traveled to places we have no idea about and met with these demons. Where did you find these books again? Telema. You could go there and try to find more. One of my friends is still there, Ruad. He had a crush on this girl. I think he married her. It's our only lead. So, I say we should go check this place out. Sure. I'll mark it on your map. It's in the middle of the Badlands, though. No major gate. About that. How come you have one? Well, I bought this place because of it. It wasn't working, of course. That would have cost me a fortune. 
but I was able to fix it. Though I still don't fully understand how it works. Well, it's been nice meeting you, Violet. Thanks for everything. Oh, you're welcome. You saved the world after all. Stay in the light. Okay. Nice woman. She talks a lot. You mean like you? Ouch. Yeah, wizards will be wizards. Right, we can go out in the front door. We cannot use the major gate. We can take a rest if we need it. Why are we injured? What did we fight that would have injured us? Can't recall. But I mean, why wouldn't we rest given the opportunity, right? Before going out into the middle of nowhere. We should probably get more crafting done in these times as well. That's on me. Crafting. Great big healing potions. More great big healing potions. Another great big healing potion. And I don't know if any of this stuff is stuff. Pendant of the Healer lets you cast um, heal once. Not a bad thing to have. Otherwise, just some basic weapons. Belt of Regeneration. Regenerates five hit points every turn for a minute, as long as you're at one HP. Wand of Winter. Cast Ice Storm. Wand of the War Mage. Wand of Thorns. Wand of Blight. Lots more options down there, but... For now, let's go with a potion of heroism. We'll get all that going. Otherwise, we'll step out into either outdoors or to the main map here and see what awaits us. Right, so we started here, moved northwest to there. Doesn't say that there's a major gate up here. It does say there's a major gate here. Not anywhere else we've been. You'd think that this would have the major gate, but fair enough. We are going to the ruins of Telma. Eight days. 12 if we go slow, which I'm inclined to do because ambushes could be a real problem for us here. We can make as much food as we need with spell slots. The horns swell. Potions. Potions. Evelyn cast create food. Crimson spiders. All right then. I'm hoping, because these are creatures that we're fairly familiar with, this might go easily. But I've been wrong before. You've endured worse. The question is, what's going to be our best bet for big AoE on a lot of this stuff? Lots and lots of tiny things. If they're not doing ranged attacks, then... Spirit Guardians will be just fine. Uh, we will cast haste on ourselves. Then we used our haste action to get an attack off. And then thereafter, we will have three attacks in a turn. Here, very simply giant spirit guardians Bella very simply second giant spirit guardians the spiders around us won't know what hit him Uh, 
glad we can block because I don't think any enemy spell casting is going to be the bother here. What is it doing? Making attacks. It did crit us. That's what we were waiting for. They're just looking for any spot they can stand, really, aren't they? Maestro. Where are we stood? We're in this corner. It's not a bad corner to be in. Thirty-seven damage, pretty good going. Get a block in there. Just taking its time doing the animations for that stuff. Ouch. Yeah, just hundreds and hundreds of damage in Spirit Guardians. That's right. Just keep getting wrecked. Right. Orc Scar. I guess we're just going to have to hit the things that are within our reach. Even if I don't love it. Because I'd like to hit stuff with more HP, but right now we can't get out to do that. You have them now. Maestro stood in the way of that one. Alright, we can get out to here. I'll take some attacks of opportunity to come attack this big guy. Especially given our say is like RAC is a bajillion there or thereabouts. Oh yeah. Real real big hits. Love it. Evelyn probably shouldn't try and do range spell casting when so much stuff around us is going to give us disadvantage. So we'll just tick some stuff down quietly. Um, sixth level shatter right there. Hey, that was mine. Oh, 82 thunder damage. That'll do it. Maestro. Over here. What can we do to really give that one a bad day? Oh, how about a seventh level blight? Well, they succeeded. I need to check Maestro's prepared spells as well, because that seems to be not correct. Why does he have no seventh level spells prepared? You're still in the fight, my friend. Bella is paralyzed. That is not ideal. But we're down to four of them. This one's going to die immediately. I'll take that attack. They don't take damage because they didn't move into our area of effect. They teleported in, which is cheeky. You never stood a chance. That one's dead. That one's dead. Come on. That one's dead. Very nice. And around these parts. Honestly, just hit it with the hammer. 
Oh, that was, uh... <sighs> Inspiration, not the other one. Paralyzed... Little, little fire voltage. Smidge. 20 fire damage. And they lose the rest. Right. Better is still paralyzed. That should end in a moment, though. Loads of glands and acid. And then we can get back to our long rest. Back on the road. Potions. Find some refined oil. Destroyed Dominion checkpoint. Potions. Bird eggs. All the things you normally find out on the road. I'm just hoping to avoid being surprised by anything incredibly deadly. That's my big goal here. An orc troop. Two Badlands Bears, two Orc Chieftains, two Orc Beastmasters, two Orc Shamans, and two Orc Archers. Oh, we could hide or we could ambush. I would like to get to level 14. And we're not too far off of that, I think. So, I'll take the ambush. See how we go. Alright, I was hoping... They would all be in great big spaces we can use AoE in. What's going to be our best starting bit? Probably a really big moonbeam. I would like to find the spellcasters, really. There's the shamans. Let's start with those two. And we'll take some cover. And some inspiration. There. Good. Orc Scar. We will get haste going on ourselves. And then, without anything to attack, we will just stay here, because there's going to be some AoE coming up, and I don't want him being in the way of it. Maestro, if you would please. Do we go Sunbeam? Do we go Cone of Cold? Can't get that bear and that guy on the left all in the same cone, and I'm mad about it. All right, let's take that for a start. Yeah, that's a good start. Now, we have Blade Barrier here. Concentration. If I do a wall, right? Could I do a wall? Origin. Select an... Oh, select an end for the wall. Ah, okay. That's not what I want. 
The other option would be... How long can this thing actually be? There? Well, we'll see how this goes. Bella. Uh, Shatter's not going to be great that far away, is it? Um, what else could we do for damage? Not heaps, honestly. They make that save. Inspiration there. Orc Scar is going to stand here. And as dull as it is, we're just going to have to ready an attack action. Wait for these guys to come to the party. Uh, yeah. Ah, they got my reaction off of me, didn't they? Thirty-five slashing damage and a nice smite. You can take it. We can. We can take it. Fifteen slashing damage. Thirty-four slashing damage. Um, do I have a spell scroll of Thunder Wave? Because if I did, I would attempt to shove these two back through this space but it looks like I don't which is fine in which case what's going to be the next best thing I think honestly another cone of cold will probably go pretty hard here where have you been all this time? There's the other other one. We do not have Thunder Wave. We are concentrating on one spell. What do we fancy? Stun. Must have hurt. And. Another stun. Not get the second stun. I am going to move away because I want Bella stood in that spot in a second. Because I think Bella does have Thunder Wave. You're still in the fight, my friend. absolutely do. So we're going to stand here. Do a great big thunder wave on these three. Try and push them back into the blade barrier. Bravo. Victory is yours. Yeah, he took 47 slashing damage by being shoved back in through there. Which is pretty good going, I would say. Like, I could attack this guy, or I could just shove him. 
We failed. It takes 33 slashing damage. We can take a regular attack action afterwards. Let's take it with advantage here. Run while you can. Lovely. Uh, cure wounds. You can have eight HP. That's fine. Four. Having a bad time. That one's no longer stunned. We're getting slashed up a little. Right, what else do we have going on? Another cone of cold. If I step back to here. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that went all right. They take more slashing damage. Come on now. But there's still so many of them hanging out back there. Right. We're still concentrating on the blade barrier, but we do not have anyone directly assaulting us right now so let's give the shaman something to worry about uh counter spell shield so we get our hit in thanks top of the round we're going to do the same plan again here Alright, 13 damage, but no pushing. Kill that guy. You should have fled. Can I hit this guy inside this plank? Apparently I can. And then the haste attack will see the end of them. Lovely. Alright, we might have to get rid of this blade barrier in a second. You can have another 5 HP. Go ahead. 6. Are you okay? This bear is not ideal. Um right. Who can we actually still see back here? I think that gets everything. Yep, dead, dead, injured. One or two big attacks, and these guys are toast. Just for fun. One less enemy. And one time. Now he's unshovable. But I can do it. I can shove a bear. I said I could shove a bear. Fine. I attack a bear. All right, she does have 13 HP left. That is not heaps. Arcana, Evo, Malmis. But you know, when in doubt, magic missile everything. Ah! 
There's a net one. All right, that's that problem resolved. Si only 1600 XP for that whole thing. All right, next time I will skip it then. Stop concentrating there. Stop concentrating here. Probably just going to be like pelts and arrows, isn't it? Potion, pelt. I don't think I need Badlands bear meat for anything particular. See if there's anything on this end of interest. Stinking Cloud, Cash, Dragon Rose is a good one. Alright, I'm sure that's fine. Was there a campsite actually here, or are we on the road? We are camping. Alright then, let's quick save there. Join me next time. We'll see if we can finish up this road trip and see what's going on at this location that we're working towards. For now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.